So I'm to glue this here. So this is the final result of lowering the C4 Corvette with the one inch lowering kit. So pretty much it's, it's a stock suspension. The only thing you do, you know, I showed in previous videos how to lower the back and how to lower the front. Back and one inch lowering bolts, the front, just put the shims on it. That fucking rooster, man. Anyway, so for all those people that say you gotta get coiled over, so you don't. Here's the front, see that? Back. Show you around. See, this is this as far as you go on stock suspension. You don't have to get coilovers. Now let me show you something. So, you, you, believe me, you don't need. You go low. People don't believe that it'll go that low. But let me show you something. Whoa. Okay. Let me see. Look, I only, I only drove it for five minutes, and the actual tire is rubbing right here in the hood, which is also the fender. Now, to combat that, we're gonna get uh, QA1 uh, dual, dual adjustable uh, shocks, just to make it stiffer. Because once you lower it, it's gonna uh, bottom out and just put a lot of more preload on that spring. It's gonna be a little bit bouncy, so I'm gonna get the coilovers to try to mitigate the this and probably the other side too. And I didn't hit many bumps. I wasn't. I was just driving normally to the store, man. Five minute drive, and it's already scraping. And of course, look at this. I don't want it to scrape through the hood. So it also needs, you know, a better alignment. So I'm gonna put probably put a little bit more you know, camber on it. So it follows more of the curvature of the hood. And it doesn't make it scrape too much. But anyway, like I said, it's stock suspension. So if it's your daily driver, I suggest try not to do it. The reason why I lowered it that much is because it's not my daily driver anymore. When it wasn't my daily driver, I didn't I didn't mind it that being regular height. But if you want to lower it, then you're gonna have those issues. Another thing, the front end it has an air dam which is plastic which is meant to be replaced every you know every however long it takes to wear down but yeah keep in mind that thing is already low it's lower than the actual fender it's actually lower than that the air dam that sucks in there i mean flows inside so that thing's already like two inches from the ground so now it's like an inch off the ground let me just show you the exhaust right here see that dot exhaust man no more than two and a half inches off the ground so any driveway any back road any bump you're gonna scrape for sure man but anyway that's that's that that's how you know i make a video so you can get you guys were asking me how does it look at you know at the end result anyway that's it and lower the hood real quick it's hard to do it by myself but okay there we go. Slowly. One side. The other side. Look at the back. Now it is supposed to have a little bit of rake, so a little bit of front angle. It's just for the aerodynamics and shit. So the back has a bigger gap than the front, which that's that's just how it is from factory anyway. Look at that. Are you the damn little? That's the side that scrapes right there. See, you can't go any lower. People say, you, 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 you do coilovers. You need to, no, you don't need to do that, bro. I mean, I, I guess if you read about that. But that life, yeah. I mean, may, eventually maybe I'll do that. But I don't really care right now. Look at that. Let me do like a front shot. I mean, like a rear shot so you can see better. You just look at that, man. That looks pretty badass, right? Right there, look at that. Slam, fucking beautiful. Anyway, that's it for that. You, see, you can see the end result, bro. Alright, if you have any questions and stuff, you always leave them in the comments. Ooh, this looks beautiful. All the way down. Look at that. Fucking tremendous. Peace.